Okay, we're going to have some more music later, but uh, right now I want to introduce uh, a woman I'm sure you're all familiar with, and a uh, big reason we're here for organizing this, Cindy Sheehan. Yeah! The first step's a doozy here. So, again, I want to just go through a list of thank yous. First, I'd like to thank all the speakers for being here. And the ones who came here, and I want to tell you that unfortunately, keep Cynthia McKinney's family in your good thoughts or whatever you do, because her dad just got diagnosed with cancer, and so she had to stay in Atlanta. And also, um, Hadi Jawad, uh, one of the co-founders of the Crawford Peace House in Crawford, Texas, um, was supposed to be here. He's a Pakistani American. So he actually felt very attached to this protest. And so he was supposed to come, but he has the, he, he's got, he's really sick, so he couldn't make the trip from, from Dallas, Texas. He's from Dallas. So, um, and I want to thank Witness Against Torture for coming out and helping us, uh, what, for, and what they're doing.
tape so you guys can't go, you know, over there into the woods. I said, well, how appropriate since that's the scene of a crime. You know? in the world. And now the government of Pakistan will denounce the drone bombings when the government of Pakistan is actually feeding us intelligence and actually um, launching some of the drones from an Air Force base in Pakistan, Chamsi Air Force Base. And uh, we have some people from Answer here, our friend Sarah. She was crossing the street and a lady welcomed her to McLean. She said, I hope they drop an effing bomb on your head. Except they, she didn't say effing. She doesn't have class like me. And then she said, she said, mind your own business, you bitch. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't who our government is bombing our business? And shouldn't everybody make it our business? You know, it's our business. And so this, this whole area doesn't have good energy, but we're here to give this area good energy, good energy for peace, and expose the lies of the CIA. Yeah. Expose them. We, we know that it was eight CIA operatives or eight contractors that were just assassinated. And so everybody, of course, all of the talking heads and the government officials and Leon Panetta and Barack Obama go on and say, those were brave American patriots, and we have to avenge their deaths. And I say, no, it was a group of assassins that were just assassinated. And they were actually in revenge for a drone bombing death. So when, in a Christian, so-called Christian nation, when does the cycle of violence end? A drone bombing, and then the, the people who are being bombed react, understandably. And then we react, and then they react, and we react, and they react. And what did Gandhi, Gandhi say? An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Yeah. Well, this is the step to opening the eyes of people in this country. That just because someone says they're the CIA, it doesn't make them a brave patriot. Now, we're, I'm not saying that there's not good people in there. But just because it's the CIA... Well, you guys can say it. Just because I said I'm not saying it, you guys can infer. Come on. So, um, again, I just really want to thank you for being here. And I asked the, I asked the CIA agents, I said, How, what is our expectation of having a Hellfire missile dropped on us tonight, today? <laughs> and they said, none, as long as the police are here. So as long as the police are here, <laughs> as long as the police are here, we're safe. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to march over to Dick Cheney's house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Shooters. we're going to march as close as we can get to Dick Cheney's house. And we've been told if we actually go down the street, we're going to risk arrest. So um, we're going to leave that up to each individual if they want to um, go and try to do uh, a, a, what do you call it? A citizen's arrest on Dick Cheney. You should see his house. It has no protection. It's really close to the street. It's got a, a fence that's like four feet high. And I said, why? If you jump over it, does a laser beam hit you? <laughs> Do you don't get electrocuted on the lawn? And the guy goes, well, you, you know what you're dealing with here, so use your imagination. <laughs>